Christmas is a special time of year for us astronomers, and I don't mean the star of Bethlehem. I mean the very fact of the Incarnation, that Jesus Christ came to us as an infant, lived his life here, died and rose again, is evidence that God the Father so loved this creation, this creation of his, that he sent his only son to redeem it. And it reminds us that this physical world that we as astronomers study is God's way of communicating to us. The deeper we know this physical universe, the more we understand what God is trying to tell us. Since the beginning of time, God has expressed himself in the things he created. St. Paul says that. As astronomers, you know, as cosmologists, we get to study the universe from the beginning of time. But it's not just me as an astronomer. I don't work alone. It's not just the dozen of us at the Vatican Observatory working as astronomers. All of us have a team of collaborators, scientists at other universities. We have the bigger community of scientists to whom we can communicate and, and create the conversation that we call science. But even more than that, all of us eventually have to tell the world about the marvelous things that we've seen God doing in creation. You, as members of the Vatican Observatory Foundation, you are the world. You have an important role in this because it is up to you to hear what we say to you and spread it to your friends and your neighbors, to spread the good news, the joy of the universe, and the joy of how we discover what's in this universe. So, during this Christmas season, I want to first thank you for all the gifts you've given us, your financial support, we couldn't do it without it, but also your prayers, also your interactions with your neighbors, also every time you spread a link to something that we've done on the internet to friends that, so that more and more people know of the glory of God that we talk about here. I'd like to thank you for the gifts you've given us, for your emotional support, your prayers, your wonderful messages, the fact that you show up when we give talks. All of this reminds us that this joy of the universe we discover together and share with each other is part of the bigger community of the people of God, a people established in a special way during this magical season some 2,000 years ago. May all of you have a wonderful and marvelous Christmas with your families, and thank you for being part of our family.